better on defense. You know what I'm saying? If I can't be a scorer that day, man. All right? Rebound. Yeah, get more rebounds. You know Maybe. what I'm saying? I ain't going to sit there and be like, fuck, I can't make nothing. And keep on shooting. And keep on shooting. And keep on shooting. I'm going to get hot one day. Man, hey, your little cousin. Who's that nigga that did that Lonzo Ball? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he, yeah, he was. Oh, he, he had what? Horrible. Oh, man. Hey, but that, that's hey, that's through the spirit as well too, cause that you said that, cause um, I think you said probably like a week, a week and a half ago, the, uh, the elder Ariala, uh, he said the same exact thing. When you're going through shit and when shit ain't going the best, that should push you more. Yep, that should it. make you do do the work more. That's, you should be eager to hit the highways now. I mean, more than of course you should be eager anyway, but when you're going through stuff. That should make you even more inflamed to go do the work, man. Yeah, let you know the Lord dealing with you. He loved those whom he, he chastised those whom he loved, man. All right? So it lets you know that the Lord is dealing with you, man. Yeah. But you don't just get down and out. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, it, sometimes you get to the point where shit happened to you. It's like, why do y'all watch me all the Call all y'all watch me all the I done been like that, man. But sometimes shit happened. I'm like, fuck! Damn! Right now? Shit's gonna happen, right? Whether you doing the right thing or the wrong thing, so you rather it happen for doing the right thing, man. Period. Cause just like you can get a flat tire, two third can get a flat tire. You know what they gonna say? This fucking ah, oh, this bad luck. But you gonna be like, damn, this fucking demons, man. Let me, let me read, let me do this, and da 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 da. You know? Don't, don't hide in a fucking shell and shit. Listen in a Ninja Turtle tune. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They ain't gonna help nothing, man. Imagine you at war. You know what I'm saying? Imagine you at war and you got a nigga, he just, he just keep getting hit. You know what I'm saying? So he just runs away. He actually flees the war because he feel like he can't, you know what I'm saying, benefit the You better find something. Die with honor, nigga. Or die with honor. You know what I'm saying? A coward dies a thousand times. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but a soldier can die, but uh, I forget how the saying go, but y'all know what I'm trying to say. So coward dies a thousand times, soldier dies zero, mortal dies zero. No, uh, 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 legends never die. Legends yeah, never some, die. yeah, 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 you know who's saying, you know. Like he said, man, die with honor. You know, I be watching, when I was watching Three Angels, he said, hey, it was an honor to die at your side, my king. Like, he was cool with just dying next to the king. At least he know he fought. You know what I'm saying? At least he know he fought. Yeah, he didn't bitch out and go hide behind the rock. Ooh, they deep. Yeah, hey, like, uh, my lord, I gotta go take a piss. Then he never come back. Uh, you know, retreat, retreat. Hey, and that's a jet that's holding yeah. everybody else is trying to leave. Yeah, he the only one leaving. <laughs> <laughs> he the, he's so low retreating this shit. Yeah, like, oh, man, this nigga's a coward. You know, that's why my favorite part of that movie is when they ran into the Acadians, man. And he was he was looking he was looking at Leonidas like, like where, are, where are the rest of your soldiers at? And he like, what? He said, Hey, Leonidas was bad, dude. He said, hey, what's your profession? He said, I'm a sculptor. <laughs> no, the first dude said, dang, I think he said I'm a uh, farmer. I'm a he said something. Then the second dude said, I'm a sculptor. And Leonidas looked, he said it under his breath and laughed. <laughs> and you, what's your profession? I'm a blacksmith. He had the, he was the only one. Sparta, what is your profession? Ahu, ahu, ahu. See old friend? Yeah, he said, you see old friend? I've actually brought more soldiers than you. You know what I'm saying? It's about that unity, man. All right, that's why the scriptures talk about one faith, one power, one uh, uh, one this and one that, because at the end of the day, it's all a unity. And we all body, you know what I'm saying? We all got to be on the same page, man. All right? Because if you're not on the same page, then you're going to have people doing what they want to do. You know, and if you got people doing that, you're going to have FBLTs in that bitch, man. They can't hold up the shield and, and guard the man next to them. That's, that's why it's important to, uh, to, to teach the right doctrine. Because if you're not teaching the right doctrine, then everybody can't be on that same page. Go to uh, 1 to 10 right quick.
to 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 10. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, that ye all speak the same thing, and that there be no divisions among you. Yeah, like the brother said, no divisions among you. Everybody needs to speak the same thing. Everybody needs to be on the same page in the same spirit, pushing toward the same mark. Got the same goal at the end of the day. Yo, the fuck we, we in a 4 by 4 I'm the anchor man. I'm going to go the opposite way. Y'all pass me the baton. I'm like, watch this. And I'm going to run back the same way y'all just came. We're going to lose, man. You got to press, like the brother, you got to press toward the same mark. All right? Which is the finish line. And, and shit, we all running together. But brother fall, you pick that brother up. You know what I'm saying? Just like in war. You don't just let whoever, you know what I'm saying, get over on, on your soldiers that's on your side. No, you fight for them. That's what I'm saying. If, you, if somebody getting the best of you that day, you better go find somebody that a brother already whooping on and drop kick his ass or something. Like, I'm still here. You know what I'm saying? Hey, go fight over. Hey, matter of fact, like off of, uh, this is a dumbass, gay-ass movie, but off white chicks. You know what I'm saying? He was like, I'll always get the big one. You know what I'm saying? They got the, the smallest brother fighting the, the big old dudes all the time. Like, fuck that. Hey, he, he whooping my ass right now. Let's switch. Look at Esau, man. <laughs> No, I should. Yeah. Go ahead. Everybody, give what you have. Uh, uh, more yeah, yeah. Go it says, uh, it says, now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, that ye all speak the same thing, and that there be no divisions among you, but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. That's right, in the same mind, same judgment. Because you all going the same way. You know what I'm saying? We can't be all going towards the same way and then get a different result at the end because we all headed that way. We all doing the work of the Most High to get uh, uh, the rewards from, from the Most High. To get righteous judgment. Not to get uh, a, a wicked reward. Which is, which is at the end of the day death. Which is to taste that second death. Which is the missiles. Or to go to it during the martial law. Or the famine. Through the, through the civil war, through a concentration camp, or take the chip. There's so many things, so many different elements that can catch you up out here. That's why your, your eye got to be single. That's why you got, your, your mind got to be strong. So many things to, to catch you up that you don't got time to play, man. All right, y'all sit here. Let's fight about doctrine and shit. Let's debate. Like, no, this is what we going to do. We're going to hit the highways. We're going to bring out these prophecies and these scriptures. And at the end of the day, the Lord going to destroy America. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. Yeah, we did our job. We ain't about to force feed nobody, man. We ain't got time for that. It ain't other spirit to force feed you. Because if, we, if you was in the right spirit or going the right direction, you wouldn't have to force feed you. Exactly. You'd be eating already. You can be in rebellion. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> He's in rebellion. <laughs> you out here being rebellion? Wait, hold on. Wait, wait. <laughs> you didn't use that right. I think it was a hiss. <laughs> you know, you know, you know, you know, Even if you spell that bitch wrong, it's still a hiss. <laughs> you want to put I-S-T on the end of that. Hey, I'm like a person that's a rebellionist. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, do your job. Don't break rank and keep order. Nine. Simple. That's what's coming down. Hey, rank is going to be important in these upcoming times, man. Rank is going to be important. And by, by rank being important, I mean follow the orders, man. All right, follow the orders and follow the orders. Somebody above you. Know what I'm saying? Final bus guy. Final call with a 24. <laughs> 24 headed out of here. <laughs> hey, look, the fucking uh, the fucking city bus. They hired everybody. Get hired. Nobody getting hired. What's going on? It's hire niggas. Everybody need help. Just hire motherfuckers. Like, come on, man. 
Just hire people. Give them a chance. Everybody get hired. And everybody's still broke. Jake's still suffering. You know what I'm saying? The, the two don't work together. You know what I'm saying? If there's this much jobs out here in the streets, if this much wealth to be made, why are we still on the fucking bottom? They be trying to say the economy's doing better. Jobs are increasing. No, part-time jobs are increasing. But you give out 10 part-time jobs, that is not equivalent to a full-time job. It don't, it don't work like that. They, I remember uh, brother went into it a while back. You know, he's saying like, uh, they, they say that the economy's gone so bad, we created 10 jobs, uh, 100, 100, 100 new jobs, but it's actually you just created 100 new positions. Yeah. Like, one job. Yep. like you didn't create, you didn't open up a bunch of, sec, uh, you a bunch of uh, alleys for, for niggas to work. You yeah. just open up one job, just yeah. hiring a bunch of motherfuckers. Okay, you know, or you can also look at it like this, because say they did open up a new business and they hired 100 motherfuckers. You still got 10 other businesses that laid off 20 motherfuckers apiece. And then, after um, a certain period of time, those unemployment, those people that are unemployed, they roll off. So companies look better. And then, after that, after, after that, robots is taking a lot of people's jobs. Because the spot that I'm at now, 100 people just got laid off the other day and somebody came in and uh, defaced the property. Because they got robots taking jobs, which is automatic, which is gonna lead to um, the. I did a lesson on it uh, not too long ago. The, um, uh, basically, a world income, a world income where they give everybody a check for the month, whether you work or not. But in order to get that, they gonna put it on the chip because it's gonna yep. come to a point in time that they don't need people. They already don't need, really need nobody to to, uh, to work at the, the, the grocery store. They got self-checkout. Yeah, All these jobs are going towards that. Imagine when you got nothing but self-checkout. You're going to have one worker in there to fix it, you know what I'm saying? To put a machine in there, you know, alcohol and shit. You got to put it in the boop, 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 boop. You know, you can just go to all the machines. You can have one person or, you, know, you know, a couple. But at the end of the day, it's going to decrease. But people say here in America, America, ooh, America, America don't give a shit about you. Oh, all right? All America care about, they, how the hell you give people rights and then uh, uh, scrutinize them for, for, you know what I'm saying, upholding their rights. I should have the right not to, to uh, fucking participate in the national anthem. But because I'm a professional athlete and some shit, I got to do it. It's, or I gotta talk to the media. Well, I'm like, oh, I'm tired, man. Shit. I'm fucking tired. <laughs> I just wanna eat some Skittles. <laughs> Where the purple bag at? This is uh, Galatians chapter 6, verse 1. Brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fault, ye which are spiritual, restore such a one in the spirit of meekness, considering thyself. Least thou also be tempted. Bear ye one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Hamashiach. Yeah, so basically what I was saying, that's tearing one for another. Being there for your brother. Because if he's falling in, in this, or if he's falling in that, put that brother up. You don't just, just leave him behind. If he's fighting for Yahabah Shem Yashai, and he's, he's striving to be in this, you, you, you be a crutch unto that brother. That's part of being in the same mind, the same body. It said, uh, verse 3, For if a man think himself to be something, when he is nothing, he deceives himself. So, I mean, ain't nobody better than anybody in this. You know what I'm saying? We all ain't shit going towards the same goal. So don't think that you... Uh, you high shit, you know what I'm saying, and you the rocket, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's the insight, dude. <laughs> Don't think that you high shit, you know what I'm saying, when really, you ain't nothing but shit, man. We ain't shit in this. We all came from, from sin in the world. Yeah. We all came from this avenue or that avenue or this street or that boulevard. But guess what? We all on the road to New Jerusalem. Think about it, niggas fall out like that. And I say niggas because only two brothers is gonna gonna remain. 
You know, like uh, like an example, um, um, like for Tuck, man. You know, he pumped himself up, you know what I'm saying, because he, he was he was at the book of Daniels, the 11th chapter. I mean, he, he wanted to be the first. He uh, came up with these breakdowns and this and that, blah, blah, blah. He was pumping himself up and the nigga's gone now. Because you ain't tearing for the brotherhood, you want to be that, you want to be that guy. Championships, but they wasn't in the game and shit. <laughs> bitch writer. Yeah, you you got a ring, okay, you did good. But what the hell you do besides coming to practice? You know what I'm saying? You